everybody, Texas Trophy here, Lance's Performance Shop, LoneStarMopars.com. It's Sunday night, about 9.30 p.m. Finally got a chance to get out here, figured I'd get some work done, some tools opened up so they can be put in use, and stuff so I can edit videos through the week. <laughs> uh, this is kind of, it was a big tool haul, but I don't have the majority of the stuff on this one, and I'm not sure when it's going to come in, and uh, quite frankly, I'm fine waiting on it, but I figured this stuff fit together better anyway. It's one of those things, if I do a Zorro tool haul, these items and the other items get buried, but these two play very well together, so it kind of makes sense to just have it as a standalone. And what we're going to do right now is jump back in time a little bit to this. This is Astro's Nano Impact Sockets. This is a 3 8 It spans quarter to three-quarter, and then, of course, an SAE. We also opted for the half inch drive that spans three eighths to one inch. So essentially, you know, you're going to have quarter, nine thirty seconds is included, which is kind of interesting, but five sixteenths. Think of those three sockets unavailable for half inch drive, right? As they should be. You're just going to spin something off. And then three eighths through three quarter is duplicate. And then down here, essentially thirteen sixteenths over. Okay. <laughs> is gonna be where we have the setup right so basically what I've done here I'm kind of highlighting the differences for you if you have the 3h drive and the half inch drive in SAE you're gonna go all the way from quarter all the way up to one inch so pretty comprehensive right the issue is you've got to have two drive sizes to do that if the tiny, tiny stuff is important to you, again, that's going to be these three small sockets right here. Quarter, 9 30 seconds, and 5 16 You got to go 3 8 If it's a situation where you think, hey, I'm specifically buying this for 7 8 or 15 16 or what have you, this is a situation. These four sockets are only available in half inch. Everything you kind of see here in this middle zone between my two index fingers that's overlap okay so you've got three unique to three eighths and four unique to half inch drive obviously if you're still spinning SAE stuff and you find this desirable or something that's useful or you've been in situations where it would have been great and uh, you go in and pull the trigger bring this in it's a situation where you will probably want to have both now here comes the issue I'm gonna turn around and grab my hand dandy sheet of paper over here and of course I should mention this is all from Zorro I've got timestamps and links down below do that solely for your convenience if we kind of come in with our metric stuff which spoiler alert that's what this video is about their 3 8 offering is gonna be a 14 piece and it's pretty comprehensive 6 to 19 so sort of akin to what we have there in SAE land you're also looking at a really good price, at least from Zorro, of $37. Again, that's fantastic price, really. The thing is, you think like, oh, 19, you know, like I'd kill to have 21, 22, 24, you know, what have you available to me. And to do that, of course, you've got to step up to what? Your half-inch drive, right? And that's going to set you back 61, 65. And then you think, and you're like, oh, no, I bet there's a ton of overlap just like there is with SAE when you buy the two metric sets. Well, there totally would be. Uh, the 3H drive is 6 to 19, and then your half is going to be 10 through 24. So 6, 7, 8, and 9 would be your metric sockets down here, 3 8 only. And then right here, where your 3H drive ends in 19, everything up through 24 would be half inch only. So essentially, your really good price of 37, and your not too shabby price really 10 through 24 of 61.65 you're gonna clock in right around a hundred dollars right that's kind of spendy for you know nano stubbies it's probably not gonna be your daily drivers it's just kind of one of those tricks in your box to kind of help you out right so 98 dollars and change that's that's expensive to go the full gauntlet well what if i told you that unlike sae land where you've got to go with three eighths and a half metric has a solution now if you're curious if you just care about 6 through 19 if you're like i break those sockets at 24 it's crazy uh, your part number would be 78314 for your 3 8 metric for your half inch metric if that's all you care about you don't even run a 3 8 gun on you uh, you'd be needing part number 78215 
However, what we're going to talk about here tonight is part number 78319. Uh, if you think back to 78314, and remember that that metric set was 14 pieces, you might be able to deduce that this is 19 pieces. And uh, if you remember the set contents of 6 to 19 and 10 through 24, and you think 24 minus 19 is what? Is it 5? It is. 14 plus 5 is what? 19. So, coming in over here, 78319, which sets you back $61.83. So kind of right in line with your half-inch drive set. It's a 19-piece set. This is spanning the gauntlet. Uh, this is something if you're like, oh, hey, you know, I bought nano sockets right when they came out or first time I heard of them, yada, yada. If you go back several years, your 3.8 set will be 6 to 19, okay? You missed out on this. If you have the 24 millimeter, you bought a half inch set too. It didn't take long and Astro kind of like, you know, read the room and was like, hey, you know, we might be better served to have just one comprehensive 3.8 set for people. And uh, that's what this is. This is literally 6 through 24 with no skips. That's what it says right there. In fact, let's zoom in so you can read a little easier. 6 to 24 with no skips. So we're taking all this down here, ignoring the overlap, reducing duplicates, and combining small and large. This is a huge win. Now, some of you are thinking like, oh, well, hey, I really wanted, you know, the half-inch drive sockets. You've got to know what you're doing. If that applies to you, I totally understand. Maybe you want to go this route and then buy the half inch might be the route to go. And I say that because the end goal with these, I don't view the Astro Nanos as, again, like a daily driver or something that's going to constantly be there. It's not the top of the cart. Unless, of course, you like size for a job and throw it on some disassembly table or something. This is just something where in certain applications, certain situations, maybe even certain jobs, you know, like, okay, hey, got this on the agenda, the bell housing bolt of pain, <laughs> gonna throw the, throw the nanos out there for it. That's great, but a run of the mill, this is something you wouldn't use daily, just like your swivels, right? You know, it's a luxury item, you can extend the life of that luxury item by not using them when they're not necessary or needed, and at least that's the way I operate. I really wish they would do this with SAE, and the reason for that, I'm just going to come in right here, and I'm going to rip these two sockets off, and this, believe me, it all ties in with this metric stuff and the explanation. So, 3 eighths and a half inch, it's easy to distinguish the difference, right? One is smaller than the other, one is larger than its companion. If you look at these, and we put the business end up, you note that there's like a, a decent gap there between my thumb and the bottom of that one. If I lower it down to that point, it's easy to see, like, hey, that's a that's a decent distance there. Like, what, a quarter of an inch, maybe? That's my selling point, all right? That is the key difference to me, <laughs> anyway, is just that we have a situation where, if I get a flat surface in here and don't drop everything, it's kind of hard with my thumb, but you kind of see what I'm saying, right? Like, that's noticeable. If you have to use a nano socket, to get clearance and prevent yourself from just having to break down and use a wrench, uh, which, heaven forbid, right? <laughs> you can use a power tool. But if that's what you're going for, if it's a wrench or nothing, these come in and do wonders. Now, that said, look at the difference here in the overall height. The 3 8 obviously superior because it's shorter. Again, we're not going for long reach or over a stud or anything like that. This is strictly tight space. You know, ridiculous confines, maximum clearance, and that's where you excel with the 3 8 drive nano socket. So, the reason I bring that up is because that's how I was able to justify going this route, uh, which again is their newer offering of the nanos, versus buying a 3 8 and a half like we did SAE. Now, if there was an SAE set that spanned all the way out to one inch, essentially gave me these four sockets and 3 8 drive, I think I'd pull the trigger. I'd also love to see them standalone, like a set of four, where if you were the guy that as soon as these came out, you bought them, you know, instead of you having to go in and buy another set, you're like, hey, I just need those four sockets that you didn't use to produce in 3H drive, sell them to me as a package. There you go, right? So they may do that. I did not see it listed, but uh, this is the 3.8 selling point to me. This is 3.8 and half combined. Yes, it's all 3.8 drive size. Yes, <laughs> normal world, I would be using a half inch drive for anything that large. But 
Uh, it's just a situation where this accomplishes the end goal of the Nano Profile, which is tight confines. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, slice and dice this so we can get her opened up. <laughs> so, you probably know what to expect here, but it's just uh, something i got to highlight because, again, a lot of you, you're either unaware of these, you know, maybe you didn't even see my earlier videos on the SE sets, but if you were aware of them and you thought, man, that is great, and you bought these, you might have missed the fact, I realize most of you are going to be spinning metric the vast majority of the time, this could be a big deal for you, getting those extra sizes in 3H drive, smaller profile, everything across the board. Now, coming in, looking at the packaging highlights again, 19 piece, I'll say it again, 3 8 low profile, 6 to 24, no skips. Wonderful, is it not? Uh, the cool thing here, I am not a huge fan of these rails, they slip and slide, they're yeah, it just, I mean, aesthetically, they're nice to look at. They do their job, but they're a pain to move around. They don't adhere as well as like an Ernst or the MTS stuff. I'm just not a fan. I've done a video, and I'll showcase this, where those pegs will work on everything universal pretty much. So if you've got Ulsa, if you've got Koken, if you go to Harbor Freight and buy their mag rails, which are pretty nice, they're essentially the exact same thing as Koken, um... You don't get near enough pegs is the thing. Well, if you decide to store these elsewhere, whether that's foam, loose leaf in a container, a coffee can, uh, an Ernst socket boss system, which is what I would recommend for these, or an MTS deal, you've got all these pegs that you can then use and plug and play with on your Harbor Freight Rail that cost you know, a decent amount on the sale, right? But came well short with the pegs plug these on and you can all of a sudden fit all the sockets you want to on there so keep that in mind but I'm excited about metric because it's at least a blue okay so a lot of times you see blue and red for SAE and metric in this case Astro goes black and blue can't fault them you know it's their decisions you're never gonna please everybody with aesthetic stuff best you can do is try but it is cool that they at least color code them for you that way you know whether it fits your system or not you know your black rail is SAE you know the blue is metric and that is important because when I this 1316 off one knock on these this is laser etched that's going to come off pretty fast oh they actually are stamped my bad i thought they weren't for some reason so yeah uh ignore that but it's not going to be the easiest thing to see especially when they're all stubby and look the same so keep that in mind now right here let's just kind of get you the specs at 0 0.88 22.5 millimeters long sockets are 35 percent shorter than shallow impact sockets and 15% shorter than other stubby impact sockets. Now, of course, you know, that might have changed. These were kind of, I believe, you know, some of the first on the market. All sockets feature a 17 millimeter outside hex for increased access when used with a wrench. If you think back to when I held those two in my hand and put them side by side and you saw that weird you know, drive-in area with a notch in the middle, yeah, that's gonna make more sense here in a second. Uh, the cool thing here, these are chrome moly, which is a big deal to me. So forged chrome moly with superior material thickness between socket body and drive compared to other sets. Uh, back here on the ends, what's included? Includes one aluminum socket holder and impact sockets in the following sizes. Literally, 6 all the way through 24. 20 is there, 23 is there. For better or worse, you've got a 9, you've got 11, you've got it all. <laughs> and, uh, it essentially combines the two metric sets, 3 8 and half into one 3 8 drive set. If you're like, hey, do they, do they do that in half inch, have everything? The answer is sadly no. But again, the odds of you needing to use like a 6, 7, or an 8 and a half inch is kind of nuts. Now, if you just want to shear something off, sure. Uh, but I'm pretty confident you could do that with your 3 8 as well. So right here you got your paperwork. Uh, I believe you do need to register these for warranty. But uh, here we go, out of the box. And I've got to say, the blue anodized rail is gorgeous. <laughs> it's just a situation. They slide, I mean, or they will slide. This one's kind of stuck for some reason. I think the rail's bent, actually. It's another negative on it, but... Some people will like these. I mean, they kind of do their job. They do have a system. 
I've never seen anyone actually bring it in. It looks an awful lot like the urine socket boss, but it's basically just a plastic tray and it'll catch in these clips right here. Various iterations of these rails like Olsa and some others, maybe cheaper, will have like a rubber sleeve that slides off. Some people actually prefer that. These are a plastic piece you have to pry off. Keep in mind if you do that, you may nick the anodized finish, so be leery of that. I'd advise you know, like a soft pry tool or masking tape on your screwdriver. But for me, even though I love the I mean, anodized blue, what's not to love? It's a great color. It's just I don't like these rails. <laughs> and, uh, what I plan to do is shop everything off of them and save them for Harbor Freight magnet rails, which I'll basically treat as if they were coking minus the sticker. So again, uh, the more you know, right? <laughs> it's, uh, the glorious thing right here, these suckers are going. I'm going to zoom in and hopefully she stays there. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Not sure what we're going to do with you. 21, 22, 23, and 24. All right there. All positioned accordingly. And then on the back side, they are stamped, although it is hilariously bad. <laughs> uh, the new sizes in 3.8 are like way worse. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to grab this 19 and uh, hopefully we can get the camera to partake in my exercise here. Any minute now. Alright, it's so freaking small I'm not sure you're going to be able to read it, but rest assured this says CRMO 19MM, okay? Doesn't look terrible there. That's about as good as it's gonna get now. That, although as small and shallow a stamp as it may seem, is vastly superior to this. And I notice this, it's the, all of the add-on sockets are just completely, it's like a, a different machine did them or something. They're super, super shallow of a stamp there. So if the 19 looks like more embossed and easier to read, that's because it is. Uh, it also almost seems like these have more of a, I'm not going to say gloss, but they're more of like a slick finish versus, you know, like this phosphate from the extreme side of phosphating. <laughs> if that makes sense to anybody. I think it's one of those things, if you had these in front of you, you would be like, oh yeah, I see what you mean. Through the camera, I don't know if it's going to make sense, but uh, right here, let's try. You can kind of see what I mean, like the 24 is like super faint. Now the 21, it looks significantly better than the others. And then as we come down, like these, as soon as we focus, are going to be pretty decent, although just <laughs> crazy small, right? So that's kind of it. That completes our Astro Nano socket setup. Um, like I said, if ever they do make the SAE in 3.8, that's something I might consider. Truth be told, as much as I use 15 16 especially at work for 5.8 hardware, I don't have many situations, especially at work, where I need a Nano socket. Uh, it could be something, if it was a reasonable price for the 4, yeah, I'll bring them in, add them on. Uh, otherwise, I'm kind of content with that, but with this, where I have an option of either buying 3 8 and half or just going 3 8 I'm going to do this. <laughs> now, I would be doing you a disservice if we didn't have some comparisons here. So, what I want to do, uh, we'll come in right here. Capri is probably, yeah, that's dang near identical, typical of Taiwanese stuff. Uh, right here, this is a situation, this is a right half inch, okay, and it's uh, shallow, and it is by far the tallest one. Look at that stamping. This, you know, like when I talk about stamping, this is what I <laughs> am basing everything else against. Now, this Tecton here, I'm not a huge fan of these sockets. They have no stamping. They only have this laser etching. I'm surprised it's still on there. These were used a good bit. I've kind of since retired them, <laughs> just because I'm not a huge fan. Uh, they're chamfered nicely, they're vanadium, that's my biggest knock, uh, but there's zero stamping on them. This one, though, is half inch, so I'm going to come in, and I've got a 9 16 and then this one is a 16 5 8 they also doubled up like that, so I'm just going to grab the 9 16 because one cool thing Astro did is keep the same overall height. There it is versus the right, considerably smaller, and then right there against the Tecton, again, super short. That is a half inch. Let me again reiterate that. Now up here in the front, I've got this uh, Capri 
3H drive, 14 millimeter. I hate that those aren't chamfered, which is crazy because their quarters and their swivels are. I've had several of you tell me that they just use whoever Sunix is using, and Sunix is the same way. I don't understand why you would not have it consistent across your product line, but whatever. Uh, these chrome vanadium tectons, which are really aggressive chamfer on them, uh, that's 9 16 essentially the SAE equivalent. But what I want to do is come in here and find the 14. It's all about metric this time around. There it is versus the Capri. Again, pretty crazy. Again, same thing here against the Tecton with its glossy finish. <laughs> it's, it's a considerable difference. And if you're thinking like, hey, that is, yeah, it's a difference. Okay, buddy. I don't know that I'd call it considerable. It's just a slight difference. Is it really going to make a big deal outside of one or two times where I get lucky? I'm probably going to have to reach in and use a wrench. You know, I don't think I want to shell out the money. Totally understandable, however, I reckon back to this, where we have this weird deal, okay? Like these, that's just the drive end and it starts at the base of the socket. This has the same setup, but then there's that ring, okay? And you think, oh yeah, he did mention that. Well, let's go ahead and can <laughs> bring this in. This is from Astro. It is their part number, 783000 Zorro. Uh, MSRP, you're looking at $48.79. You're probably going to see it $50 to $65. Bucks. Keep in mind, Zorro, what do I do? I get fat discounts. So all this stuff, <laughs> well, well less than what you saw here. Am I special? Yes, but can you get the same discount? You sure can, because you're special to you. But uh, what are we talking about in $78.300 for around $50? bucks? we are talking about this guy right here. And if you're thinking like, Oh, it's a flex head ratcheting wrench. Okay, that's kind of strange. 17 and 20. Why did you buy that? Like, what on earth does the old Mopar guy have 17 and 22 millimeter that would necessitate the need for this? Um, nothing aside from these. Okay, <laughs> that's because all your 3 8 nanos are going to be 17 millimeter. Again, look at this carefully. If we can, if you know that's not just round like all of our other sample sockets it's got a hex profile right same thing on the half inch drive if I come back here and grab we got to use SAE because again we don't have half inch metric same thing hex profile okay catching on yet hopefully you are if I come in here backside ratcheting double flex head wrench for nano sockets 17 by 22 millimeter ratchet wrench locks onto and retains Astro's 3 8 and half inch drive low profile nano impact sockets. This is kind of the crazy thing. This is apparently like a pretty legit wrench. 100 tooth. I don't, uh, well, outside of SK, I don't think I have anything that high of a tooth count in terms of ratcheting wrenches. So that's exciting. Uh, 100 tooth flex head design allows for use in the most confined spaces. Only thing I can think of negatively there is something's really tight and you're able to fit this instead of like your pneumatic or your you know battery powered tools. I wonder if we're more likely to strip it versus if it was like a you know 72 60 36 48 something a little bit more archaic never going to complain otherwise it's just a fear I've got and the catch is when you take this and you lock all of this material on the bottom away you drastically reduce the size of that low profile socket you're looking at 0 0.9 to 1.1 inch total thickness with a socket included. That is crazy. So, it looks like Astro was nice enough to not make this a pain in the butt. If you're curious, if you're worried, if you wonder, yes, lifetime warranty, and yes, made in Taiwan. As a vast, vast majority of anything ratcheting it's going to be. So here she is out of the package, super smooth and painless. Uh, in terms of rotating, like selector switch, not here not there not here well what do you do you've got to flip it so yeah that's the only downside but again it is what it is pretty decent i'm gonna say it's like my favorite ratcheting mechanism ever but hey uh, i can't complain either so right here i'm gonna take the 14 millimeter and check this out where you would have all of this exposed all of a sudden we don't and that's locked in there you can see the drive end and you can see this that is insanely stubby <laughs> right so picture where you're going maybe we're like going around and under power steering pump and we're trying to get to something 
boom there we go breaking her free <laughs> tighten it up by ejecting and going the opposite direction so not the like world's greatest interchange by any stretch of the imagination but it is pretty cool and the main thing is this okay i'm now going to come and take the capri and <laughs> this is socket only okay this doesn't have a uh, pneumatic ratchet this doesn't have an impact this doesn't even have a manual ratchet with it and look at that this is like a better showing almost because that sits totally flush pretty much identical to how the socket conveyed the catch is with the capri and you think oh again that's not that much shorter stick whatever drive tool you want on here even a slim slim profile head on a ratchet and it goes from this difference probably to somewhere in this area and that makes a huge, huge difference. So uh, right here, just since we can, this will be your Tecton 3 8 It's a 9 16 Again, pretty much the same height as the Capri. If I come back over here and we grab, I just want to make clear for you, this is 9 16 clearly half-inch drive now. It will plug in to the 22 millimeter side, okay? So we're going to come in now versus our double utility tech in there and again this is strictly the socket we don't have the ratchet which would make it something more like that if it's a slim ratchet okay uh, and then again factor in whatever length you've got on the anvil of your pneumatic or your you know corded tool cordless i should say and you can start to see where this really shines you know yes socket to socket it's noticeable yes but this makes it insane this right right here, the 9 16 half inch drive versus this guy, boom. Imagine putting a ratchet on the end of this. I'll be generous and we'll say that the ratchet is just the same profile as this, which is extremely rare. You're typically going to be somewhere more in this neighborhood and look at that. Like this is the difference in you using this and you literally coming in with a wrench and busting it off. So that is where these stand this is why this item in my opinion is something that if you pick these up this needs to be on your radar to complete the set again i don't make jack selling astro tools uh they're not going to send me and maybe they will i don't know but they haven't before probably still won't uh but it's just a deal where if this was mac if this was harbor freight and icon if it was pittsburgh pro if this was something from hazette i would tell you the same thing if you go with these this is something. I'm not saying you got to pick it up, but it's going to be well worth your time to pick it up because this could save you. Case in point, I hate not having my long neck at home. I keep it at work. But, uh, this is just kind of where we would be, right? So we're going to grab a nano. This will be the 13 millimeter. I'm going to stick it on. Relatively compact minus the button, right? And some, some new ratchets, they've eliminated that. But take a look at this, okay? <laughs> like... There's that. Now, the cool thing with the head on this Harbor Freight, that's actually really, really similar to every pneumatic ratchet I've ever used. So it gives you an idea of the space savings. Come in with an impact, and it's even more pronounced. Uh, again, a long neck, in my opinion, is the place to start. But if I take this, say, Capri here, and we throw it on our 3 8 Hercules. <laughs> okay. You've got that, but look. Where does this fit in the picture, you know? <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of crazy. So, yes, standalone, used in conjunction with your half-inch drive breaker bar, used with your half-inch or three-inch drive power tool, pneumatic, cordless, whatever it might be. The Nanos do make a difference, and it could be the difference between a wrench and doing things with power. In the tightest of circumstances, this is crazy. I think Astro could probably make this head thinner, but I think the reason they don't is because of that. Now, if you look at that profile where you've got those little hash marks, and then you see that wire retainer ring right centered in there, well, that's what holds that socket in place. So, very, very cool setup. My only knock on this wrench is that Astro 17 and 22 is here. And it's not on that side. That's literally it. It's my only complaint. Would it be cool if that thing was reversible? Yes. Do these fit in standard 17, 22 millimeter inches? Absolutely. Will they be retained? Not without something creative happening on your end. So I guess we could showcase that 
We're also about to time out, so it means let's just go ahead and up in things. But we'll just come in right here. What do we have in our hand? The 15 millimeter. And so I've got a 17 millimeter icon here, which you can see easier that way, right? But if I come in and we throw this in, it's just, it's gonna go. And obviously, like, if you can nest this on the fastener and then come in and catch it, yeah, you could totally do this. You're gonna need that to be obviously like the front cover, bell housing bolt, something where the stud is, you know, like coming out straight 90 degrees to the ground, perpendicular. If it was a situation where you had like, I don't know, a radiator hose you're trying not to have to take off, yeah, you might be able to fit this or a stubby in there and also go to town. But I just want to point out like it's not going to retain it. You know, now if you're underneath a vehicle, let's say you're using it for like a transmission pan, we'll just say some someone really, really smart welded in a skid plate, welded in a skid plate. You know, great job protecting the transmission, but you know, you'll never have an easy service of the filter ever again, let alone adjusting bands or anything. But we'll just assume you have to change the filter, right? Put some fresh fluid in. This is a situation where you could come in and use, you know, like a longer wrench and this type of a thing and get to it because this way the socket will not fall out, right? It's not a situation where you're having to go from the top down. So there are workarounds in the meantime, but if you pull the trigger on these I think this is something you really need to add on uh, just for your own benefit uh, if you had a 17 by 22 like this which is going to be super rare you know maybe 17 19 or 19 21 I don't know uh, maybe you can get creative and swap heads over and create your own you're still not going to have that retainer ring and that's going to be what kills you so again that little piece right here I can find this guy one more time insert the right end where you see those little uh, grooves in the side of the socket that's what catches and locks so again it's not the easiest thing to seat either but I mean that sucker I'm gonna hold this so we can really get the shake to it <laughs> and, uh, you get the idea right so that's all that's there for that's all it does but again, if you do invest in the Nanos, I think this is something that you got to consider just for your own benefit. With that said, I think we have covered everything we need to here. So standalone, the Astro Nanos, yes, they're going to be shorter and more compact. Uh, but paired with this, which is designed to be used with them, it's legit. It's a really, really nice system now. Does that take away, you know, the cool factor of having your cordless tool or your pneumatics do it? Yeah, but in the situations where this is really needed versus coming in with this, okay, it's it's nice and you're still ratcheting, so you got that going for you. But uh, there again are a couple of other stubby sockets. Not all of them integrate this well. Uh, again, do what you want to do, you know, find out what's the best price. Always, if you're interested in the Nanos and you find like brand Z or, you know, Q over there has a better sale or a better set or a set that includes sizes you need. Like who knows, maybe someone else goes up to a 27 and that's important to you for a specific application. Go that route. This is just me showcasing this. It's the direction I went. Again, I would love to have the 3 8 SAE go all the way to the 1 inch. Again, for the same reasons, it's just why the SAE, the 3 8 is going to be smaller than half. Same thing in metric. If we had the half inch drive metric stuff and we had the 219s, it's just slightly smaller. And again, that's kind of the point here. We're not, we're not trying to build the world's strongest socket in this case. We're just trying to get something in a really tight space. So... Uh, my personal opinion, I would go this route. I would save the money and I would get 6 to 24 all the way with no skips and 3H drive. If you love these and you've got a situation where you think, man, I wish I had the 17 and the 19, you know, in half inch drive, then go out and purchase that as a standalone complement to this, right? But uh, SAE, as far as I know, they do not make a comprehensive one. So you have to go 3H and half. Okay is what it is and uh, I don't really have any complaints again this is not something I'm gonna daily drive uh, unless we like decide to do some like wear test comparison you know then yes obviously to accelerate results versus actual applications where it's necessary but otherwise no uh, this is strictly a situation where these are gonna sit there in the box and then when something really bad or crazy happens I'm like oh wait you know and hopefully you remember them 
and you're like, I think I could use the nanos on that. And whether you get to pair them with, you know, a long reach battery ratchet, whether they fit on your pneumatic, or if it's a situation you have to come in and plug them in with this wrench, hopefully it serves you well. The only other slight, aside from Astro not labeling the other end, I wouldn't mind seeing that just a little bit longer. Now it's a catch-22, you can get too long where it's non-functional, but I mean, heck, maybe even selling another one, like a long one, you know, thank your mountain or easy red sizes. Why leverage? Uh, that's the main thing. Does that put the ratchet mechanism at more of an expense of being damaged? Yeah, but it also gets you in more places. It could be very beneficial. Maybe that's a logical, you know, next step for them, as would be the 3 8 drive you know quarter to one inch all the way in SAE but it is what it is what I want to know from you is if you have the nanos how do you like them what do they compare to did you previously have husky uh, have you since found some other brand that you like better uh, do you have the wrench if so is it a lifesaver is it uh, just kind of run-of-the-mill do you never use it uh, is it something that you bought all the sets of the Astro Nanos and you thought, man, these are going to be great, and then you just never touch them? Do you forget you have them? Whatever your story, feel free to share it. Similarly, uh, is this a situation where you would be interested in having the SAE include these sizes? Also, for those of you early adopters that had the 14-piece metric set, these back end are available. Again, you know, do with that what you will, but... Uh, Sometimes, you know, like you get something early and you kind of quit paying attention to it. So you might be oblivious and this could be a great benefit to some of you, especially if you've had it for a long time. You use it and you're always like, man, I wish I could use the, you know, 21. Or man, if only they had a 22 in that. Well, they do. And uh, again, that might kind of sailed under the radar for you. But so... Uh, with that said, that's about all I have got for you. Uh, again, these will not be staying on these rails as soon as I have time to, you know, rehome them. That's what we're going to do. But, uh, yeah, what did you do with them? Do you like these rails? Do you hate these rails? Do you wish they came on different colors or you got to pick or, you know, what have you? <laughs> Let me know. Do the rails hold up? Do they fall apart? Uh, whatever your experiences may be, feel free to leave them below. Also, if you know of an alternative, if you're like, hey, so-and-so company has, you know, that wire ring thing in their things, you can go that route and get a 17 by 17, feel free to tell people. And again, that's the only other thing. If you did go all 3 8s, you're never going to need that 22. Granted, you could use it for something, but it's never going to be a benefit to you like it would with the dedicated set. So maybe the 17 by 17. So if that breaks or shears off, you've got a backup just just forward thinking on my end but uh anyway let me know your thoughts on all this stuff i do hope you enjoyed if you like the video if you like multiple videos you're not subscribed i encourage you to do so uh if you think man you know i can't believe this guy doesn't have more subscribers if you want to help out tell your friends anyone that you know that's into tools or might find stuff interesting by all means spread the word i'm a simple man what do i do with increased fame and riches I get more cars and I get more tools, quite simply. So, uh, your support is always appreciated, again, as is your opinions. Again, first-hand stuff really helps people out. If somebody is watching this and they're on the fence and they're like, oh, this guy just bought it, he doesn't have experience with it, 100% correct, but some of you probably had this stuff for years and you go, hey, that's a lifesaver, I use it on this, and that could be the swaying point, whether it's to purchase or not purchase, and that's the end goal is to help people out, expose them to new products, and then ultimately they can decide if they want to pull the trigger or pass. So with that said, if you have not subscribed or if you have, I encourage you to ring the bell, get sent notifications. YouTube just might tell you Wednesday and Saturday that we've got new videos 9 a.m. Texas time. And though with that said, I hope you have yourself a fantastic weekend. And most importantly, I hope I catch you back here for more action from the shop.